Hello guys, we are back with another video about Vikrant's favorite books. This time we are doing some math books, but it's a little different. We have books that are sort of like living books, so stories, something that makes you think about math. So basically math based, you could call them living books, right? Yeah. Okay, you want to say hi? Hello, my name is Vikrant. Shall we start with this one? Bedtime math? I think this is the first one we got, right? No, let's start with circumference. Circumference? Okay. okay. Actually, bedtime math. Okay. It's like, um, it has little math puzzles and stuff in it that you, that are simple enough so you can do it while you're in bed. Yeah. And also, it's a fun excuse to stay up, right? <laughs> so there's a lot of puzzles in this book. And each one is like three levels. There's a little story, it's a fun setup for the problem. This one is more like preschool stage, right? And then this could be grade one or something. And then this could be a little more complex. For me? So, for me? For me? Yeah, you can... Am I you stage can, three or stage two? It depends. Mm -hmm. Like each problem is different. In some problems, stage two will be hard enough. Some problems, stage three will be pretty easy. So it depends. So there's a whole lot of puzzles to solve. Even if we do one a day, it takes a while to finish this book. We haven't finished this yet, right? Yeah. We have done a few, but we haven't done all of them. I think there's a part two also, but we just have this one. But this is a good beginning if you want to get into these math kind of um, puzzles. And then we have the circumferences. It's about a night. Yeah who like lives in a castle and he thinks about math and there's always like an adventure and then you always and it's always related to math yeah in some way. so you have to use some skill like one skill in each book to figure out um the solution to the to the problem that they're having right let's show them the first one circumference and the first round table yeah we got this used copy first because we weren't sure how far we like the series. Although you could get these in the library, but we wanted to have them because we kept revisiting this book. So this is where they introduce all the characters and they, since this is the first book, they introduce the basic concepts of like area, perimeter. Was this the perimeter? No. The I circumference. Really yeah. So circumference, it's like a whole lot of play on words going on in these uh, books. There's the little kid's name is Radius and his wife's name is Lady Di of Amateur. So it becomes diameter. And the questions are really fun to think about. And you will always find at the end of each book, they have uh, more explanation about how they solve the problems. So there's, they give you the actual formulae if your kids are old enough to understand these. But- um, Oh, that thing, we don't that symbol. Yeah, That's the pie, cool. right? But even if your kids are younger, they can still enjoy the story because the adventure is very, very fun to read, right? Yep. Which one is your favorite out of all of these? There was another one. There was a different one. This oh. one's about decimals. No, there was another one that was had. You didn't get all of them. Maybe it's in your room. That's okay. They get the idea. The other one is circumference in the last battle. Oh, oh we don't have that we one. We have it. They, whenever Vikrant learns a concept at school, we try to go over that in this series. So it's a lot of fun. Okay, what do we have next? The grapes of math. This is good for littler kids. It has like math riddles and easy and simple puzzles in it yeah that cover concepts of math it's it's good for younger people like kindergartners kindergartners like yeah. yeah there's little rhymes little puzzles. we haven't read the whole thing of this either yeah like i never even knew we had this <laughs> yeah we bought this a long time ago but we just forgot about it why it's such a thin book it got lost in all the other books and okay, what do we book, have next? What is the point of math? So this is like an encyclopedia where they explain why each concept was like uh, in math was invented and how we can use it in daily lives. Yeah. And this takes a lot of time. This we haven't explored this book yet. This is our newest edition out of all of these. It's kind of like an encyclopedia of math, but I feel like the language is very uh, simple. A child can pick it up and read it. 
and it's also good to spark a discussion like you take a topic and you talk about it why you're actually doing this stuff it also has a lot of history of math in it yes yes isn't that cool it's a very cool book okay this is by dk right yeah this is a dk that means it is a Probably an encyclopedia. This next one is from Osborne. It's the Lift the Flap Mental Math. This also you can explore for a while. We haven't finished all the pages, all the flaps yet, but it's a lot of um, information. It's a lot of little, little tricks that are thrown around in this book. Um, so much fun for kids to learn. This is not one of those books that you pick up and it's very engrossing. This is more of a preschool to kindergarten book maybe from five to seven years it's, old it's kind of a second grade because there's multiplication there's oh there's some multiplication there's division too so okay this is good for second grade. second grade too let's flip to some more pages yeah i know we've saved the best one for last what do we have next we have this is the last one and the mathematical mysteries oh. it's like a bunch of puzzles that are mainly like used for like geometry yeah, bring it yeah. a little bit closer so they can see. Like it shows three-dimensional shapes and things. Like in this pipe room, yeah. you take all of these up together and use the ladders to get back to the exit. Or, and you have to make a cube out of all of them. You have to fold them. Mm -hmm. And you have to weave this carpet. Yeah. It's already done, that's why I did it. So even though it's like a board book, it, it has a lot of puzzles in it. It has mazes of lots of things to think about this is not your average lift the flap book so in this one you have to kind of create a triangle in a way that the maze is complete so the path should be complete and each page is like that and each page has a letter to this girl molly uh, to help her figure out what the problem is that she's supposed to solve yeah. to get on to the next level right yep and there's so much detail going on. They yeah. explain the reason behind this is these. The, this is my favorite one. This is your favorite? And also okay. at the last page, there's a tunnel into all the places she's been to. Yeah. Like first her inside at home, her staircase. Yeah. Then to the maze, then to this place, and then to here, and then eventually she comes here. This is, wall, yeah. yeah. This, I would say, is one of the coolest books I've seen lately right this and is a recent one yeah in the end it explains all the concepts that were covered in this book and th so this is for getting deeper into it you can explain it to your child a little bit more but uh, just by itself just doing this puzzles itself will make you think a little bit deeper and also it's very fun it's not like one oh, of those yes. books where kids go like why do i have to do math it's actually a fun oh way to do that's math. true it is super you won't even feel like you're, you're doing, doing some something work. boring yeah yeah this is a super cool book yeah, we've really given this book out as gifts to not for so not many for copies not yes. for copies so anyway this is a great book for gifting as well because it's a very large format book so it's makes for a good gift right yep so that's it. Those were the books about math that we wanted to talk about today. A little different, don't you think, from the workbooks that usually people think yep. are for math, right? Yep. We could talk about workbooks as well, but we thought we would talk about yep. these we interesting... We don't have that many, that's true. So these are the books that we wanted to talk about today. Let us know in the comments if you found this video useful and we will see you another time. And don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Thank you. Bye guys.